fellow YouTubers. So this week we had a hen go broody, which is really exciting, especially for Bridget. Um, and she requested that we got some green and blue eggs to put under her so that we can have some chickens that will lay blue and green eggs. So that's exactly what we have done. Uh, so fingers crossed. Oh, nice. We've got some greens, some blues. She can see those, look. <laughs> oh, hi, bed bags. You can have them. Yeah, I know. I just need to see how many you've got under you. So, six, isn't it? Yeah, all right, all right. We just can't. Oh, there's, an, there's a white one under there. We don't want a white one under there at all because they're not. Oh, sorry, I've got feather. Hang on, hang on. Alright, so she's sitting on one co-op brown bird and some ostrilop and Orpington eggs. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Calm down. Alright, I'm gonna pass you some eggs. You need to scoop them under. Here's a blue one. Hey, 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 move your head. There's a blue one, see? There's another one, Bex. She's busy putting those in order. Here you go. Juggle bum moves. <laughs> Alright. Should put one more on you. Which one do you like, Bex? We've got a few of these ones, haven't we? So what some big X? This is a big brown one. We like that, don't we? Here you go. Here you go, Bex. Scoop that under. What are you doing? Can you scoop it under you? There we go. We've got a brood of chicken. So since they're not using the nice egg boxes <laughs> that um, Mark has built them, we have decided to repurpose the egg box into like a little broody, a broody box so that we can have her in with the chickens. But she's still in the shed at the moment with her clutch of eggs. So I'm going to get her moved over. So Creating a little space. Creating a little space for uh, mummy to be. Hey, So we've got one broody chicken down the bottom, 
Oh, and noisy chickens at the top. A very noisy rooster on the end. <laughs> night, night, everybody. Why are you dragging me outside in my pajamas? <laughs> Candle the eggs. Gonna do what? Candle Bex's eggs. Candle them? Yeah. Not we're not gonna cook them. Why not? We're just gonna sit the babies inside of them with a torch. Oh, okay. So I have to come outside in my pajamas. So it's only day seven today. It's the sixth and she started um uh, hatching the eggs on the 31st so what are you expecting I'm not expecting much there might be a little bit of um, a dark spot in the middle and the sides floating around a little bit and some veins how do you know if they're not fertile um, it'll just be clear and so you've got to watch out for blood rings and all sorts of stuff but there's more information about that later still doing research <laughs> I haven't got any veins yet, so it's not quite. Oh, you can actually see the yolk sticking to yeah. the edge. Yeah. So, is it a bit early, do you think? It's a bit early, yeah. Alright, so when do we do this? In three days? Uh, well, check another one and then, yeah, we'll train it. So, you see the air sac there? Mm -hmm. This one's developing quite a bit. Maybe the other one wasn't. Well, the other one might not be as fertilised, or even fertilised, because um, that's my cousin, like she's a new layer. So, there's a little bit there. All right, so, so just update me, what's going to happen down there? Uh, well, we can't really see much developing because it's too early. But um, we'll check. <laughs> check in a few days. I didn't, I didn't really expect much, but... Night, chickens. Yeah, sorry for disturbing So we're super pleased. Uh, Bex actually came out of her little brooder box today and had a little walk around for five minutes. Um... We were a little concerned because she didn't want to come out at all. So really pleased that she came out and she hopped straight back in, um, sat back on the eggs and uh, was drinking away. So really, really pleased with the progress so far. So fingers crossed. Uh, this weekend we are working on a poly tunnel, high tunnel, whatever you want to call it. So that's what the next video will be about. And uh, we'll keep you updated on how Bex goes with sitting on the eggs next week.